Right. Do we just recap with the what the relevant courses and um, relevant courses is what we use for decision making. Uh, if you remember back in in six one when we did the qualities and quanti the qualities of uh, accounting information, you would have noticed that one of these the things, one of the qualities was relevance, and relevant means that it was useful for decision making. So. Uh, the relevant course is that same relevance we are talking about. Okay, the future cash flow which will occur as a result of making a particular decision. All right, it excludes past course. If you notice here, we are talking about the future. In fact, all um of the course that we come across in Cost and management accounting excludes past course. They are budgeted course, future. You are making decisions concerning the future. Okay. Course that occur, whether or not a particular decision is taken and not relevant course. Okay. So if, um, if you have a, Cost, let's say, like the depreciation of fixed asset that will occur regardless of what decision it is. If you go through with the uh, decision, you decide to say, Yes, you're going to do a particular thing, you're still going to have depreciation on, um, on your equipment, on your fixed assets, and so on. And if you say, no, you're not going to do a certain decision. It's still going to have the thing, so it does not affect the decision either way. And uh, what you will do, you will ignore that that is not a relevant course. Okay, relevant course are cash flows, right? Notional costs such as depreciation, interest, and absorbed fixed costs are not relevant, right? When we say notional costs here, what we mean is those costs that are calculated. No cash actually pass, like depreciation. We calculate it using the straight line method or the reducing balance method and replace the amount that we get in the income statement, right? That no um, actual cash will pass. The types of relevant costs, what we call incremental costs, uh, the increase in future costs as a result of making a particular decision. All right, in notice the, the emphasis is on the word increment. All right. It, if it increases, it's going to be in the future. It's not going to increase in the past, right? Differential course, the difference between the course of alternative options, right? So if um, you have the option, let me say the make or buy, and make the making of the item is going to cost X dollars and the buying of the item will cost Y dollars, then the difference would be X minus Y. It'd be uh, inflow of or outflow. And now uh, we have a section that again that we call avoidable costs. It's costs that will not be incurred if a particular activity is not perform or if a decision is not taken okay uh, avoidable costs usually takes the uh, form of cost savings uh, and you right unavoidable costs 
is a, a, a song course. Usually they have fixed scores. Okay. Um, uh, okay, we'll come across this. There's a things that teachers who set questions for CXC usually make an, an kind of error and there's great debate in that area. Relevant course may be used for both, both long-term and short-term decision-making. Here we will be concerned with short-term decisions only. For the EKIP, examinations we are concerned with uh, three types of uh, technique or three techniques the accept or reject a special order when we say special order what we mean by that is that um, the order is at a lower price than the normal price okay you are producing you have fact a factory you have some uh, extra capacity and uh, someone comes along and asks you to, to make a, a order for them and uh, they are, but they are going to pay you at a lower price it's a one-off thing you're not going to do that all the time but you can um, have to make a decision whether you're going to accept it or reject it then we have the make or buy decision, sometimes called outsourcing. Um, if you should uh, be able to buy a product or outsource the product or item that you are currently making, they usually buying the item appears to be cheaper so you have to make a decision whether to make or to buy the uh, item discontinuing a branch or a product okay we have a branch of or a product we are producing more than one product xyz and uh, one of the product is making a loss and you have to decide whether to discontinue it or it could be a branch you have different branches around the country and the one of the branch might be making a loss operating a loss and you have to decide whether to 